Hi everyone, I'm Lee of CJ Drill. Today, we're gonna be installing a timer. It's a countdown for a light switch. So if you've got kids around the house and they leave the lights on, I gotta tell you, this is the thing for you. Okay, these are the tools that you're gonna need for the job. This is a voltage indicator. This is a wire strippers, needle nose pliers, a um, flathead, reversible Phillips screwdriver, and I always just like to have electrician's tape just in case. Okay, now before you remove the faceplate, just make certain that you cut the power off at the breaker panel. So you want to take out the screws top and bottom and remove the faceplate. So I've got the bottom screw now. Now I'm just going to remove this faceplate. Okay, there we go. Now even though I've cut the power off at the breaker, I want to make certain that the power is off and the best way to, to do that is just to double check. It doesn't hurt to be careful. I, I like to use a, a voltage indicator and you can go to the CJ Drill website and uh, there's a video that shows how to check a circuit uh, to make certain it's not live. So I'm turning on my voltage indicator, and if it beeps red, it'll tell me that the circuit is live. And in our case, it's not. So it's time to remove the light switch itself, and there's a screw at the top and there's a screw at the bottom. We're going to remove that. It's safe to do so. We know that the power is cut. Now we're just going to pull, carefully pull, because you've got wires back there, carefully pull the light switch away from the box. Like so. Okay, there we go. Now, what I want to bring to your attention is there isn't a ground here, all right? And it's possible that the light switch you have in your home has a ground, and they make a timer switch with the ground on it. So just be certain that when you go to the, the hardware store or you go to home improvement store that you pick up the proper timer switch. Now we're installing our timered switch on a single pole light switch and you're going to want to do the same. Now the thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clip the wire and then I'm just going to take my wire strippers and I'm just going to cut the, uh, the wires. There's one. And there's the other. Now I want to say this, when you clip your wires, make certain that you have enough wire in the box to do so. So I want to straighten these wires out a little bit because it's going to make it easier for me to strip. If you go to the CJ website, there'll be a video there that shows you how to strip wire for a new uh, electrical outlet or switch. Now, this is the new timer. This is the timer that's going to be installed in the box. And we're going to need to remove the sheathing off the wire. And that's what I'm going to do now. You want to, you want to make certain that you put the wire in the appropriate notch. And, so, and then you just pull. Now, wire nuts come along with the uh, timed uh, light switch. And so that's what these are, and they're going to help us attach the wires. Okay, so we've got the two wires now that we're going to bring together with a wire nut. And that's what I'm holding right here, and it's going to join these two wires together. Now, I have to tell you quite honestly, um, what you would normally do is you would put your pliers on here and, and you would twist it together. But because this is a braided wire and this is a solid wire, it makes it difficult to do. So we're going to rely on the wire nut to do that for us and then we're going to tape it to make certain that we have a nice strong connection. So what you want to do is you want to put your wire nut on and you want to make certain that you twist it until it, it's tight. Now that's very tight. And you also don't want to have any wires exposed beyond the wire nut. You don't want any bare wires touching up against the box because the box is metal. So just make certain that all your wires, any bare metal, is buried beneath 
the wire nut. Now we're gonna really secure this up. We're gonna beef it up. Okay, so we've got our wire nut on. Now let's be extra certain that this connection's not going anywhere. And the way we do that is with electrical tape, all right? So you're gonna, I'm gonna tape the wires together first, and then I'm gonna wrap around the cap really well. Okay, so that's wrapped very well. I want you to take a look at that because that's how you're going to want to wrap your connections. And again, this is the best thing you can do to make certain that you have a secure, safe connection. Now we're going to repeat the process below. Okay, our connections are secure. And now it's time to place the wires carefully back in the box. Okay, so we've got our wires tucked away in the box back here. Now it's time to secure this. I'm securing the bottom now. Now we're going to attach the wall plate. Okay, now it's time just to set the filler plate, that's what this is, in place. Okay, so now that the plate is in place, this thing that I'm holding in my left hand is a filler plate nut. And so we're just going to place this over, like so, and just screw it into place. So I've got my filler plate nut in place. Now I'm just going to use needle nose pliers, because it's kind of difficult to get my fingers on that, just to tighten it up. Okay, so that's, uh, that's nice and tight. Now it's time to put the cap on. And this is going to allow you to turn the timer. So we're going to set this into place and push. Okay, so we've turned the power on at the breaker panel. Now it's time to turn the light on and see the fruit of our labor. So let's turn it. Well, that's nice. And if you hear that ticking, that's an indication that you're going to save money. So the light timer, it's an easy install, and you can do it at home. I promise you. And I'll tell you what else I promise you. The kids, they'll never leave the lights on again. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.